Dish Nation fans, we have a very special guest with us in the studio. It's the Onion Crunch King, Nick Lowe. Yeah. yeah! Let's just get right to the cut to the chase. Now, you are obviously famous for Onion Crunch, but you're also famous for something else, and that is Pickle Crunch! Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Pickle Crunch! <laughs> How do you do it? You, I, you were gonna be having fried jalapenos and jalapeno crunch <gasps> coming up this year. That sounds awesome. Are, is it? Is it one of those things where you'll show up somewhere and you'll bring your onion crunch and they know that you do that and now you've got pickle crunch? Is always some guy or some girl going, ooh, you know what you should totally do? And then that gives you ideas. Are people always pitching you of Con what you should? Yeah, constantly. How I should change my packaging, how I should change my flavor, <laughs> how I should change my ingredients. Well, that's kind of rude. Okay, constantly. I think your packaging is just fine. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone's got an opinion. You should think tank something. If you're going to come out with a new crunch every year, then uh, obviously you got to have some in the bank. I was thinking you more cannabis crunch. Cannabis oh. crunch. You've, yeah. just, you've just made a new best friend. <laughs> now, there there might be another topic that you might be a little sensitive to, but uh, I hear that uh, you're a cop. What? <laughs> yeah, you're a cop as wait, well. Wait, wait, he's a cop and he's, and he's hawking a cannabis crunch? What is happening? King cop? <laughs> wait, you're a cop? I am. Where are you a, a police officer? In Louisiana. Okay. So you can't do anything, like if you can't arrest him today, could you? Sure I can. I can have you arrested. I can have you arrested. Now there's also a rumor going around, actually an insider told Dish Nation that you were interested in dating Margot Robbie. Who said that? Well, and then I was going to say, wasn't every guy interested in yeah, dating Margot Robbie? World. It's a rumor that I'd like to date. There's a rumor that Eric would like to date Margot Robbie. Exactly. Now there's something else I gotta ask you, and probably only one or two people watching Dish Nation right now even recognize you from this, but I guess, apparently, I don't know, I'm just hearing this, that, that you were once engaged to Sofia Vergara. At one point, yes. That's true? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. She is arguably one of the most beautiful women in the world. I'm just Frank, rubbing what, it in Frank, what right now. Oh my God, I mean, what? to even get close to her, is just, you know, if you mess that up, it's ridiculous. Nick, I would arrest no. him right now, I would. No, I, but now that, you know, everyone knows that uh, she is the ex-fiance or ex, other women now are probably lining up. That because is Because you were with Sofia Vergara and got her to say yes, so the curiosity from other beautiful women has to be off the charts. Well, it could go work the opposite, too, or they could be intimidated by everything. Oh, how can I compete with Sofia Vergara? Yeah. yeah. So how's it going? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing okay. He's doing fine. Right. Just fine. <clears throat> well, thank you, Nick, for coming in. Nick Lowe, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Oh, I remember the first time I subscribed to a YouTube channel. It was so romantic. I, um, I stayed up all night just watching video after video. So subscribe to uh, our channel, okay? Just click my button right here. Right there. We'll watch videos all night long. It's me and you.